How did the idea of writing a book come into fruition? Uh, okay, thank you Tago for that question. So what happened, it was, um, I started by actually reading a lot of books. Uh, I, read, I was reading a lot of books, especially during lockdown. I think I read more than 30 business books. So to me, I just saw there's this other author who actually said everyone is supposed to write a book, whether a businessman, whether a teacher, everyone is just safe to write a book. It can help uh, someone who is out there. So when I was actually discussing with uh, my management in this other meeting, then uh, I think there was uh, Tamuka, Tendai, this guy, they just said, but why can't we just have a book? And I said, ah, but uh, I actually dropped literature at school. I, I, I think when I was in Form 3, uh, you know, our school, Maristin Yanga, it was compulsory to speak in English. So, you know, sometimes when something is compulsory, automatically you become resistant to it. So to me, English was my worst subject because we wanted to speak in Shona. And um, I, I, I would say, why are we being forced to actually speak in English? Why can't we embrace our, our local languages? So uh, that's, that's another story for another day. So I dropped literature and English was actually my worst subject. Uh, I would do, sometimes I wouldn't even attend some lessons. So this is what actually happened. Then this guy, they said, yeah, you can write. Start by writing. Then we, we, we were debating and they said, should we do ghost writing? Then I said, ah, no, if it's my story, I'm supposed to write it. Let me go and write. So when I started writing, I would wake up 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. starting uh, writing because I wasn't writing it during the day. During the day, I was focusing on my work. But in, yeah, early in the morning, I was writing the book. Then when I was writing, the story started just coming out. And I saw it that it was necessary to write to fellow vendors, to other entrepreneurs who are out there, and mostly to people who are still in school, some are in, in primary level, some are in secondary, some are in tertiary. They, especially those who are in primary and those who are in secondary, we haven't been, they need to choose proper careers. They need to know that uh, the university is not the only way you can actually make a better life or you can make money. So that's what actually inspired me to write the book. So I thank my guys at MNJ for actually motivating me to come with my first book and I hope to also write uh, more books.